Okay, guys. So in our last video, I just told you how to run Facebook ads at low cost without you spending so much money. All right. How to run Facebook ads without spending so much money on ads. And I told you that if you implement everything that I said in that video, your ad cost will actually drop. Now, the second part of that request, which you guys made on my Facebook page, is to know how to run Facebook ads without bots, like without having robots visiting your site through Facebook ad or through the, the ad you are running on Facebook. Now, in this particular video, I'm going to be addressing that. But before you watch this one, I would like you to take some time, go over there, watch the other one that explains how to run the ad at low cost. Then you can come back and watch this one too. All right? Or if you finish watching this one, make out some time and go over there, watch the other one. Now, you can watch this video on my page on Facebook or you can also watch it on our YouTube channel. So ensure you are subscribed to that YouTube channel and that you are following the Prince Gabriel Culture page on Facebook, all right? If you are following these two, trust me, you will make more money this year than your previous years. So let's proceed to learning how to stop bad bots from visiting your site through Facebook ads or from visiting your site when you are running Facebook ads. Now, there are two ways you can stop it. There are two ways that I stop bad bots from visiting my ads when I'm running Facebook ads. The first method is called the bridging method. This bridging method is a method where you create something like a barrier, all right, that the bot have to go through first before going to your site, if at all that they will go to your site. You have to create a barrier that people coming through that Facebook ad will go through first before going to the other side. So this barrier is called the bridging method or the landing page method. Now, how does it work? You have to create a landing page, something like um, a website page, all right, where people, first of all, will go to before they get to your site. All right, look at how it works. Let's say you have a site. This site is um, example.com. And then you have another one called eg.com. All right? Now, um, this example.com. Okay, okay. Let's, let's put it this way so that you understand it clear, clearly. Okay? Let's say you have a site called example.com. And you have another one called, um, um, uh, what do you call it? Let's call this one eg.com. Okay? So, you can, on example.com now, you can create a landing page on example.com that Facebook traffic will first of all get to. Now, this page you created on example.com is the one you will use in pushing traffic on Facebook, all right? But on this example.com, you also put a link, like click here, or apply now, apply here, all those things. You also put a link on this example.com. Now, when people come through Facebook, they will click on this link, and once they click on the link, it will now direct them to this site, which is eg.com. So it's like this. The traffic is coming through Facebook this way. It will first get to example.com here. And then pass through example.com to get to eg.com. Do you understand it? Do you get the, the arrangement? The traffic will come through Facebook here. And then it will go through this. And get. Now, why does it work? Why does this method work? The reason it works is this. Most bots do not click on links when they eventually get to your site. This is why when you run your ads with link clicks directly from Facebook, you will have high volumes of traffic, low page views, high amount of bounce rate, and also um, low clicks on your AdSense ad. In fact, you may even run an ad of 10,000, 20,000, and you end up getting just 5, 10, or 5, 10 or 15 clicks on your AdSense ad. That's low. I mean, that's very, very low. Because the bots coming through Facebook may not really have that time to click on the AdSense ad on your site. So what they do is they come through Facebook to your site and then, bam, they go back again because they don't click on ads. Do you get my point? So, but when you use the bridging method, these bots, when they get here, they'll bounce back. Do you understand it? Instead of getting to your site and then, I mean, getting to your site and bouncing back, they'll get to that landing page first and then when they're on that website you're using as your landing page they have no other option than to bounce back then the real human beings that are a mixture in that ad that you are creating when they get here all right they'll click on that link you put in here and eventually come to your site now the first three days of you running your facebook link clicks may be filled with 70 percent bot bot or 60 percent bot the first three days the traffic quality will actually increase from day, th day three, that is the third day that you are running your ad up. 
the traffic quality will increase. Now, from that day three, the the bot uh, mixture will reduce to maybe fifty or forty or thirty, thirty percent to humans. All right, so humans will occupy the other part, while the other part will still be bot. So you won't be losing so much money, but it has to be like the third day first, because within that third day, the algorithm would have known all uh, you know categories of people to push your ad to. All right, so apart from that. Um, within that third day, your CPC would have started increasing on AdSense. So when they are coming there, when people are coming to your site now, you know the bots will be bounced back here, and the people will pass through here, find the content they are looking for, and click on your ads, and then your CPC would have improved. You get, but the first three days, you will have majority of bots. That's why when you run this ad, you will notice that on Facebook you may see twenty thousand clicks, and yet. When you go to that landing page and check, you will see maybe 5,000 or 10,000 people. And eventually, when you go to your analytics to check the sites where people landed on, you would notice that the traffic will drop also, maybe by 1,000 or 2,000 or 3,000 or 5,000, because the bots, when they eventually got here, were not allowed to pass through to your site. So the bridging method is one of the ways you can use to push traffic to your website. And there are many, you know, Many ways you can do that. You can use uh, several bridging methods to do it. And if you want to learn more about it, you can just sign up on Trispark Academy for the Prince Google Culture Mentorship Program and you will learn everything that we do and how we do it. Or you can go for the Facebook uh, Messenger ads on uh, Facebook ad setup on Trispark Academy and you will learn how we set up these things properly. Now, apart from this, another method you can use to block bad bots from getting to your site is to use Cloudflare to do that. If you go to the Trispark Academy um, YouTube channel, you'll find a free video that I personally recorded, a free video, a free tutorial on how to use Cloudflare to block bad bots and traffic coming from other countries you don't want to your website. So in that tutorial, I gave a clear-cut direction on, you know, step-by-step -step guide on how to do one or two things, use some settings on Cloudflare to block bad bots and bad traffic sources from coming to your website. If you do it that way, if you do everything I explained in that video, you will not have the issue of bad bots infiltrating your site. Now, it may not stop bots 100% from coming to your site because there are bots that behaves like human beings due to their persona. So it may not really stop it 100% from coming to your site, but it will definitely shrink the amount. It will definitely reduce, reduce the volume of these bots coming to your website. So what do you do? Just as you finish watching this video, immediately you finish watching this video, just quickly go to Trispark Academy channel on YouTube. Just go to YouTube and search for Trispark Academy channel. When you are on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, then scroll down. You will find a video saying how to block um, bad bots from coming to your site through Cloudflare. Now, spend all the time. I think it's about 10, 15, 20 minutes. Spend all the time you know for take all your time as as long as it needs to understand everything being said and done in the video and repeat the same on your own website so that you keep your account safe you increase your you know your your earnings you know your sites will no longer be messed up with ad limit account suspension as a result of having too much bot on your site and at the end of the day you make far more money you know far more money than you have been making your previous years so just the moment you finish watching this, quickly go and watch the video on how to prevent bad blood from coming to your site. All right? I'll be looking forward to your success. I'll be looking forward to hearing you say you have successfully dealt with your bot problem and your high ad cost problem on Facebook. All right? I hope you found video value watching this video. Now, if you did, what you will do is to let another person see it too by clicking on the share button and encouraging them to follow the Prince Gabriel Coaches page on Facebook. I'll see you again. Bye.